some people comment to me asking me how they can change their lives. So let me give you a simple answer or simple answers. Now, the first thing that you should do is separate yourself from everyone. Especially people who are in sin. So, you may say, well, Kevin, that is kind of impossible because, you know, at work, I work with others, and how am I going to do that? Well, I am not saying that you have to be stuck up or anything like that, like someone says hi to you and what you do is turn your head like this, like you have not heard them or <laughs> like you have an attitude toward them. What I am trying to say is don't entertain yourself with sinners. Now, what you can do is go to church and stuff like that, but the best thing to do is separate yourself from people because some people are not going to go to church, but that's what you should do though. And you may say, well, you know, I have low self-esteem and I need people to, what word am I looking for? I need people to pat me on the back, you know, to show me that I exist or whatever else, or I am really close to my mom, but my mom is in sin and you know, I am close to my family. Yes, they are in sin, but I have to be near them. Well, then you don't have to do it then. Just continue on doing the same stuff that you have been doing. Listen, if you want to change, you have to make sacrifices. I used to be that way where I needed to be around people and be in the in crowd and dress the way that other people dressed and all that silly stuff. No, skip that stuff, man. So separate yourself from your friends and the usual people that you are around. Now, if they serve God, then it is okay, it is okay to be around them. But if they don't serve God, stay away. Stay away. Stay away. I pray this makes sense. Stay away from them. But Kevin, you know, I have been their friends for 15 years. <laughs> like I said, do whatever you want to do. But if you want to change, you have to separate yourself from them. I don't care how long you have been their friend. I don't care how much you love your mom and dad and aunt and stuff like that. If they are leading you down the wrong path, you have to separate yourself from them. If you want to change. Okay, first step. Separate yourself from all sinners. Now, it is okay to be around, like I said, people who serve God, not people who live the life that God wants us to live. So if a person only goes to church, that does not make them right with God. <laughs> that is just a person who goes to church, which is nothing if you are not following his rules. Okay, so that is the first step. So if you can't follow that, man, just turn the video off, man. <laughs> because it is not going to work for you. Step two, what videos, what music, what are you entertaining yourself with? music don't listen to hip-hop and all of these sinful rock and 
all of these sinful songs and stuff that talks about kissing and dating and hugging and stuff like that if it speaks nothing of God you need to turn it off don't listen to it and you may say hey Kevin that is going too far there because I need my music well like I said you can do whatever you want to do <laughs> If you want to change, you are going to do this. But Kevin, that is too extreme. Well, you are saying that you want to change. Why are you coming to me telling me that you want to change, but you are not willing to do what it takes? Come on now. Music. Listen to music that glorifies God. Stop listening to that old school music that I used to love <laughs> listening to. <laughs> that hip hop, that rap. Yes, rap, man. If you are listening to rap, something is wrong. Which I used to listen to myself. All music that has nothing to do with God, you should not mess with it. You should not mess with it. That is too extreme, Kevin. Do what you want. But if you are serious about changing your life, you are going to do it. What are you watching? Are you watching Game of Thrones and Empire and Rain and the Saw series and Chucky. Well, I don't know if they're making Chuck or they make Chucky anymore. The movie series Chucky. <laughs> or if you are watching Harry Potter or all of these horror movies and movies with this kissing and this sex scenes and stuff like that leave that stuff alone better yet what you should do is not watch any TV or movies whoa 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 Kevin that is way too extreme <laughs> Like I said, you are asking me how to change, and I am telling you. Listen, the things that I am telling you to do, I am doing it now. And I know that it works. Why? Because I am doing it now, and it is working for me. Okay, so... Hold on for a second. So we said, what did we say? Separate yourself from mostly everyone. You can come around with people who really serve God and not just go to church. <laughs> Pretty much listen to music only music that you should listen to is music that glorifies God all that other mess don't mess with it movies stay away from it perhaps you know you can look at movies that glorifies God as well like the passion of the Christ and there are some other movies as well, I believe. I forget. Okay. What else? <clears throat> that is pretty much it that I can think of. Yes, be careful of where you go as well. Don't go to bars and clubs. Man, let me say this. I used to go to bars and clubs. 
And there is nothing of God in bars and clubs. Nothing. <laughs> I went there for years and nothing of God is in bars and clubs. So stay away from it. I pray that this makes sense. If you are telling me that you want to change, you have to get extreme and stay that way. I know that, yes, in video games as well. Turn off the video games. I know for myself, I would play video games. I think I started playing them at like, what, age six or something like that? <laughs> From six all the way to the age I am now, pretty much. <laughs> you see, if you are taking in things that are not of God, It is going to turn you against God, right? Makes sense, right? If you are taking in things that are of God, <laughs> it is going to turn you toward things of God. So why are you taking in things that are not of God and wondering why you can't get near God? You are placing in things that are not of God, but you are surprised that you are not getting closer to God when you are not placing things of God within you. I don't think I can explain it much more <laughs> simple than that. Please tell me if I can. <laughs> You want to get close to God, but you are not taking in things that are of God. But you are taking in things that are not of God and expect to get close to God by placing junk within you. So what I told you to do is going to work. If a person says they really want to change, they are going to make the effort. If they don't make the effort, what can you say? That they don't want to change. So many people who are going to watch this, they don't want to change. It is going to take sacrifices. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless. <clears throat>